if you want to have more than one subject in focus let's say if you want to click a flock of birds can you have all of them in focus a question that i have received innumerable times let's find out what is depth of field basically the area which appears to be in focus around the area which is actually in focus that is because your camera can focus only on one plane at a time so all the subjects that fall on that one particular plane will automatically be in focus however the area around that particular plane will appear to be in focus it is not actually in focus but the blur will be so minor that you won't be able to tell the difference with your naked eyes now the area which is near the plane of focus will be less blur as compared to the area which is far some of this area will be in front of the plane of focus and some will be behind the plane of focus so this area which is satisfactorily visible as sharp around the plane of focus is called the depth of field depth of field can be deep it can be shallow depending on how the image has been shot shallow depth of field is when you have less area appearing to be sharp and more area appearing to be blurred this will be used in all those images when you need soft creamy bokeh in the foreground as well as in the background and deeper depth of field is the opposite more area appearing to be sharp and in focus and less area appearing to be blurred this will be used in landscape photography or let's say architectural photography wherever you want more area to be sharp now there are mainly three factors that affect the depth of field distance from the subject f number which affects the size of the aperture and the focal length let's take them one by one f number f number will basically change the size or diameter of the entrance pupil in the lens bigger the entrance pupil more will be the bokeh and shallower will be the depth of field smaller the entrance pupil less will be the bokeh and deeper will be the depth of field and since f number is inversely proportional to the size of the entrance pupil you have to keep it on smaller numbers if you want shallower depth of field and on higher numbers higher values if you want deeper depth of field if you are still confused then just remember this you want more blur more uh, bokeh in the background and foreground keep the f number lower say on f1.4 2.8 3.2 etc you want less blur and more area to be sharp keep the f number higher say 4.5 5.6 6.328 depending on what is your requirement distance from the subject how far is the subject from the camera will also determine the depth of field in a frame if you want shallower depth of field walk closer to the subject and you will notice more bokeh more blur on that very same f number and if you want deeper depth of field increase the distance between the subject and the camera and you will get less blur and the area will be relatively sharper have a look at this one here the subject is a little too far from the camera and hence even on f 1.8 the depth of field is extremely deep however here the subject is too close to the camera and this has been shot on f 4 still the bokeh in the background is much thicker as compared to the first image focal length now you know that distance from the subject affects the depth of field so when you change the focal length you you are basically changing the distance If you are on a longer lens, say uh, 400 mm or uh, 600 mm, the subject appears to be closer to the camera and hence shallow depth of field, more creamy bokeh. However, if you are on a shorter focal length, example, let's say a wide-angle lens, a 12 mm or a 16 mm, things will be relatively sharp. Now, this is indirect because if you compose two exactly same shots with two different focal lengths and same aperture values. For example, if you take one image on 85 mm f4 and one on 35 mm f4, and in 35 mm you walk closer to the subject, and the subject occupies equal area in the frame, the depth of field won't be much different. So basically, the distance is what is affecting the depth of field, and not the focal length. But don't bang your head here too much, because in wildlife you cannot uh, always walk towards the subject. Most of the time we are in a jeep. and the times we are not it is really not recommended to go too close to the subject be it a bird or an animal so look at this example the image on the left is shot with a 7200 mm lens on f2.8 at a focal length of 70 mm and the image on the right has been shot with the same lens on the same settings but on 200 mm focus on the background 
Can you see more blur in the second image? That is because it is on 200 mm and there is magnification in mold too. So when you need more bokeh, open up your lens and zoom into the scene. Now comes the question, is it possible to get all the birds in focus when you are shooting a flock? No, it's not. However, you can make sure that the depth of field in the frame is deep enough to make the subjects look like they are in focus. How do we do that? Increase the size of the aperture, increase your distance from the subject or shoot them on a shorter focal length and make sure that the subjects are closer to each other because if the other subjects are far from that one particular plane of focus, from that one particular subject on which you have your focus, the far off subjects will be blurred. Now, if you are a beginner and want to learn about the basic camera settings, then check out this video. And if you have any other topic in mind and want me to make a video on it, let me know in the comment section below and I will definitely take a note of that.